costume looks like, you know, what the act is about, what the story is you're trying to tell. Right. Will we ever have a singing circus? Perhaps. I mean, <laughs> this uh, holiday show, we did start off with singing the 12 days of Christmas. That so. truly did. I, I did hear a few people say, singing in the circus? But uh, it definitely worked up, it worked out, especially as a great crowd warm up. Ah, and this so. would be different from Cirque du Bois, which, Absolutely. for those of you that don't know, it's a Circus Sarasota show that is actually coming up in March. During Cirque du Bois, we work with Key Corral, which is over 100 live voices, and they stand separately. They're in the stands. Um, and then we have an orchestra of 40 people, and then we have live circus performances which is an incredible show. There's only three performances the end of March. If you're going to be in Sarasota, you should look into attending that show. But what I was referring to was <laughs> circus performances that were singing while they performed, which depending on the act may not be possible. <laughs> 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 they could be too out of breath to actually get the words out. Uh, we have also been talking about collaborating with other, other not-for-profits in town, like uh, uh, the Youth Opera. Um, so having a, a singer or, or, or singers from the Youth Opera, West Coast Black Theater Troupe, um, and some dance troops like uh, the Cuban Ballet ah. and um, uh, there's a ballroom dance ah. company for kids. Really? Things like that. So we were talking about collaborating with them as well. That would be so teachers. interesting. Mm -hmm. Something else that um, is kind of off topic, but the Sarasota Ballet every year does a Nutcracker, John Ringling's Nutcracker, and they have um, integrated circus elements into that ballet which I have not seen, but every year hope to see. <laughs> I think this is the last year they're doing the, the circus-themed one. I think oh. that they're changing. I'm not sure I might be mistaken. But, no, I think actually, I think you, I heard that. But that was also a very, which maybe allow us to do some sort of uh, nut nutcracker, nutcracker. Oh, that would be for fun. a holiday. We'll see. A, a real nutcracker circus. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that would be so cool. Our <laughs> own little spin on it. So, yeah. so, <laughs> so I know that um, circus in this town is... Um, is integrated into a lot of other performances. Yeah. So if we could um, do those new partnerships with other nonprofits, that would be very cool. Very excited about all of those possibilities. So uh, we've talked a lot about some of our previous shows. I mentioned the Trolls Act. Um, what are some of your favorite acts or moments from previous shows? Well, the Trolls is definitely a highlight in this last show <laughs> for me. Uh, we just created a new set of skating costumes, which I thought were quite beautiful. Can you describe those? Um, well, they were navy. Um, and Navy in color, um, with of course some sequins and sparkle, and uh, we added white marabou to give it that wintry, kind of warm feeling. What is marabou? Marabou uh, feathers, like oh, white, feathers. white okay. little white feathers that oh. around the sleeves and the skirt, which yeah. really just kind of warmed it up. You know, kind yeah. of gave us this wintry feeling. Um, other favorites: uh, the sailors last year uh, for the spring show, of course, having thirty sailors jumping out of windows and Running through the arena was pretty exciting for me. I, I enjoyed that a lot. Yes, yeah, so what Jared is referring to there is um, they were basically the, the students, the performers were in sailor outfits. They really, mm -hmm. truly looked like they just walked off a ship. Yeah. And it was very uh, effect <laughs> effective. So, um, and then are there any uh, particular acts besides the trolls that really uh, struck you? Um, uh, uh, this is a, a new act this uh, within this show this year that I hadn't seen the kids do, which was Swinging Cradle. I love and Swinging I Cradle. I was so amazed by the act and uh, the strength and tenacity of the kids to begin with. Yeah, just and uh, their their uniforms, which uh, they had last year. Um, this year in particular, we added a lot of red sparkle and sequins, red wings. We put uh, big red wings on their backs and feathers on their shoulders. So it kind of gives it that flying feeling, right. and their music was to the Phoenix. Oh, wonderful. So it all kind of came together and just added another element to the costume. So for those of you that don't know what the um, cradle act is, it's basically similar to a flying trapeze, only there's no trapeze. There's um, The catcher is on a platform. He's hanging by his knees, and he attaches basically his arms. He holds on to the other person's arms, and they swing, and they do flips, and he catches them, and it is a really exciting very excited. Act. I, I, it's one of my favorites. That reunion. Hugely impressed. So um, can you tell us something about what to expect for the upcoming Sailor Circus 71st anniversary shows? The show's coming up in April. Uh, the show coming up this uh, April is um, called Out of This World. And it's basically our own little circus spin on um, Star Trek, so to speak. So it's uh, our set piece which is a also is our trampoline wall when we Excellent. have a trampoline act. Uh, we're turning into the inside or the, the 
the deck of the of like what would be the Starship Enterprise. So it's like uh, cool. a star deck, and um, we have these set pieces that we're going to borrow from uh, the players that kind of give us a transport. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's uh, all based around space travel. Um, you know, we set out with a mission, and then of course all the things that happen on your mission with conflict. You know, you meet up with the bad guys and. But the idea is that we all come together, so we create a positive message by the end. That course. sounds very exciting. So, like, uh, Lyra will be collaborating with um, the Sarasota Youth Ballet and uh, doing, like, the Rings of Saturn. Uh, high Wire represents, like, a spacewalk, those kinds of things. Ah, huh, that sounds very exciting. <laughs> and did you come up with this concept on your own? Um, actually, um, one of our seniors, Tegan Allen, she's uh, the ring, one of the ringmasters, and she walks the high wire. She is has presented this idea uh, a number of times, I guess, <laughs> in the past few years. And as it being her senior year, uh, and she brought it to me, I said, let's help you develop it. So uh, I'm excited to help her develop her idea and see it through the end. That's really, really great. Yeah. And are you going to let her like influence any of the directing? Or Absolutely. We've, I've had her in meetings from the very beginning. Um, just including her in every aspect so that she is not also just seeing her vision through, but she's also getting the experience of producing, you know, seeing Definitely. all the elements of what it takes to put on a show. That's really, truly wonderful. And um, I happen to know that Tegan was accepted to Boston University. Yes. And she's so, so excited, and I'm so excited for her. So. Absolutely. Yay, Tegan. Um, and then what do you have? Um, do you have anything up your sleeve yet for coming up in in years to come? Um, talking, you know, of course, you know, just throwing some ideas around, but looking at holiday show for next year, uh, talking about basically ma making about snow and winter, kind of like just a snowy, icy winter kind of show. Which is very hard to do in Sarasota, Florida. Yeah, But now absolutely. that there's air conditioning in the arena, it and should be easier. On the inside of the arena is very white and, right. and gray, so it allows for a lot of lighting. You know, you can color it any way you like. Right. So that, that white, icy feeling will think will be a... A huge help to that kind of yeah and then the spring show i'm looking at for next year is a, sh a take on around the world in 80 days oh so it's like a little trip around the world that would be great yeah and i'm sure circus is very easy to integrate into that yes i'm really idea. excited about that idea in particular it's a show i did i have done that i wrote for um a senior troupe that i had worked with a number of years ago so i want to take that idea and develop it for circus that sounds great yeah yay well, this is all very exciting. So does Eric, your partner, ever come and help you out with anything um, here at the arena? <laughs> Absolutely. He was a, uh, a dancer for many years. Yeah. So and he helped with some choreography entrance of uh, the web act last year and uh, little things like that if I need some entrances or exits. Uh, he ran Spotlight for us for this particular <laughs> show. Um, he was uh, with Siegfried and Roy as their um, personal assistant for 10 years. Wow. So um, he's very familiar with showbiz. He's very familiar with showbiz and circus. So he's a, a huge help. And when I'm talking about ideas and shows, like, he's the perfect sounding board. For yeah. Me, so. And this is kind of like a homecoming for him since he Absolutely. was part of the program. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's really great. And um, how does the rest of your family feel about you being involved with circus? My 91-year-old mother just came to see the spring show, and she said she had at least six heart attacks sitting in the chair. <laughs> she was hugely impressed. And so thrilled for me that I'm in a place where I get to do everything I do in one place. That's wonderful. Well, as a representative of the Circus Arts Conservatory mm -hmm. and host of this show, I'd like to say that we're all very glad that you're here. Thank you so much. And is there anything else you'd like to share with us or add? Uh, no, uh, just uh, thank you so much for having me and how thrilled I am to be here and be part of the circus uh, and to not only do everything that I do in one place, but uh, that it's also new challenges and I'm learning new things as well. Right. So. And you really, I have to say, kicked the uh, costume department up about 12 matches. Well, and you have some great idea. volunteers and uh, yeah, everything is is really wonderful. Thank you, Beth. I appreciate that. You're, you're very, very welcome. So I'd like to thank you again for being here. My and pleasure. I'd like to remind our audience, people listening, that uh, you, you, should shop, uh, <laughs> you should visit with us every week on the Circus Art Spotlight. And may all of your days be circus days.